Hello friends and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to see the MV command. The MV or the move command has two main functions. First, it renames a file or a directory and second, it moves a group of files to a different directory. This command normally works silently means no prompt for confirmation. Let us first learn how can we rename a file using the move command. Let me first create two files abc and xyz. Let me list my current directory contents. As you can see the two files abc and xyz have been listed. Now our task is to rename file abc to xyz. So I type mv space abc space xyz. Now the contents of the file xyz will be overwritten So, the file contents of ABC are now in the file content XYZ as ABC has been renamed to XYZ. If the destination file doesn't exist, it will automatically be renamed. For example, let me try renaming XYZ to ABC. You can see that now the listing doesn't have XYZ and it has ABC. So the file XYZ has been renamed by ABC. By default, MV doesn't prompt for overwriting the existing file. This command doesn't create a copy of the file, it simply renames it. No additional space is consumed on disk during renaming. Next, let us learn how to move using the mv command. To move a file from one directory to another, we can use mv space the file name and space the directory name. Let us see it in action. Let's suppose that I want to move the file abc to desktop. So I type mv space abc space desktop. You can see the file abc is not there in the listing and it has appeared on the desktop. Next let us have a look at the options provided by the move command. The first is the minus i option. Like in cp the minus i option makes the command ask the user for confirmation before moving a file that would overwrite an existing file. You have to press y for confirm moving any other key leaves the file as it is. This option won't work if the file doesn't exist. It simply renames it or moves it to the new location. Let me again create two files abc and xyz. Now I am using the minus i option with move and as you can see it asks for a confirmation and if I press y the action will be performed. Next is the minus f option. This command prompts for confirmation before overriding the destination file if a file is write protected. However if you use it with the minus f option it will override this minor protection and override the destination file forcefully and delete the source file. Next is the minus b option. With this option you can create a backup of an existing file that will be overwritten. 
the backup file will be created with the tilde character appended to it. That's all for this video. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.